An off-duty firefighter goes above and beyond the call of duty, running into a burning house when it became engulfed in flames with a man and his pets still inside. But the calling to serve others started years ago. That's right. SNN's Nadine Young joins us now with the unique and personal story that off-duty firefighter is her brother. Yes, and good evening, guys. Well, my brother is Luigi Young, and he was in high school when he first witnessed a girl have a medical episode. Only one in 200 of the people there knew what to do, and he wasn't that one. So um, I always looked up to my older brother, and I never thought our career paths would cross like this. But yesterday, I watched him save a life, and it still leaves oh. me in awe. This year, Luigi spent Christmas at Tampa Fire Rescue Station 13. My brother, a firefighter, worked overnight with his station family. A rough night, so went home to sleep, and I was awoken by my family saying my neighbor's house was on fire. At first, I was a little dazed, just like, on fire, what? I looked out the window, saw smoke everywhere, and knew how to get out there. Without hesitation and still sleepy, my brother grabbed his boots, ran into the burning house where our neighbor, Paul Gregory, was inside on the floor. Luigi carried him out. I went inside the house probably about four or five times. Every time was to try and make a, get further inside. Uh, I don't have any mask or air, none of my equipment's all at the station. Um, so I was trying to do what I can do with what I got. What he has? is training from Tampa Fire Rescue. That's second nature, is what we do, is what we're trained for. My mother, Dallas, is a registered nurse at James A. Haley Veteran Hospital. She was the first person attending to Gregory. When Hillsborough County Fire arrived on scene, Luigi and Dallas assisted in the recovery of Gregory's two dogs performing CPR. Luigi working hand in hand to out the fire. I know the procedures for the most part. I mean, they need a hydrant, so I took that task so I can achieve that for them while they can work on something else. Standing three feet away from the blaze, both of us covered in soot, my brother helped the helpless, putting someone's life above his own. On duty, off duty, always a firefighter. It's all said and done. He won't ever say it, but he's a hero. Ah. <laughs> Reporting in Ruskin, Nadine Young, SNN, the Suncoast News Network. And Gregory was airlifted to Tampa General Hospital, and he remains in the intensive care unit. But things would have been a lot different if my brother wasn't there. Yeah, I bet they would have. What wow. a great story. And you say he doesn't really enjoy the spotlight, but in this case, you know, um, all of the men and women in the fire department, if they were in this place, they would have done the same thing. It's just what they're yeah. trained to do. Absolutely. Yeah, part of the job. What a great Heroes. story. Nadine, thank you so much for sharing that story Definitely. with us. Definitely.